Welcome back ladies and gentlemen and we start episode number three on the profile of Nathan Tyson you can see here he's currently out for three to four months with torn knee ligaments for the fourth time in his career I don't know if he's going to bounce back from this he is now 38 years old because his bravery dropped massively his physicals are starting to drop I don't think he will he'll be making a return to first team football at all unfortunately we have played two games since he was last here. We the first one was at home against Wrexham, of course, owned by Ryan Reynolds now in real life. Um, we beat them 2-0, Asante and Kiernan scoring his first goal for the club in this one as we load the goals for you. Yarny played it into Clark, Kiernan into Denton, first time ball into Asante. It goes across the keeper and scores. Denton is now starting for me. After his good run of form, Tyson to McCourt, Denton plays a 1-2 for McCourt into Clark. And it's a lovely little through ball for Kiernan to score the second goal of the game. And steal the three points for his day. It's a little cartwheel as well. You love to see that. It was a great ball, a lovely finish from him as well. And then we was at home to Aldershot in the final game that we did off camera. Also in the league. You can already see it was 2-2. Asante and Evans for us. Two from Fisher. Asante. Straight down the middle from the penalty spot. Give us the lead in the 23rd minute. They then equalise in the 67th minute. Ball over the top. Flicked on O'Connell down to Fisher. And it's a good finish. Keeper probably has position. I think he expects the shot from Fisher. Then Carline's long throw. Causing issues again. Evans getting in there. Volley in home. Beats the keeper at the near post. Six minutes later though. It was 2-2. Anderson went back to Brown. It's a lovely ball in behind. Fisher beats the keeper to the ball. And taps home to give all the shot a share of the points in the league. And if we just take a look at the league table, we're now just a point behind Notts County. Um, Wrexham and Boreham Wood still have a game in hand on both of us as well. But things are getting tight up top now. For today, we have the FA Cup game against Cambridge. And Watkins and goal, Yarny, Evans, Maguire, Preston at the back. Kiernan, Colock, McCourt, Buchanan, Denton and Asante. All starting in this one. I was going to um, take Kiernan out and rest him, but we don't particularly have too many people that can play on the right-hand side of midfield. Considering we've loaned a couple of players out, you can see that Alex Witten is going out on loan. Curtis Weston and Jonathan Smith have both gone out on loan as well, bringing in the loan fee. All the players weren't really playing too much, didn't stand much of a chance of getting into this team either. So um, we've we've loaned them out, yeah. Uh, for the bench, he'll put Butterfield on the bench and Bowden as well. Yeah, we'll go with that. To round off the bench, obviously, the FA Cup at home to Cambridge in the league above us. This would be the first big scout. This is our first real test of the series so far. Uh, the media have given you a lot of credit. Let's go with that. Let's motivate them. FA Cup. It's the magic of the cup. We could pull off a potential upset here by beating Cambridge. And getting through to that second round, it'd be massive for us. Yarny with the throw-in to kick us off at the first high. Denton flicks it down for Kiernan. Shot was blocked bravely. Denton doesn't have the pace to get there, though. Duncan now plays it forward. Nibs. He's one-on-one with his defender. He gets past the defender. Forced him wide there, Preston did well. He tries to chip the keeper and it's hit the bar. And Maguire smashes it clear there. It was a great effort it, it, off the bar. It stayed out, fortunately for us. Maybe positive isn't the right move. Maybe we should be uncautious here. Burton with a goal kick downfield. The Nibs is in behind again here. Off the back of the man. It's a great block from Yarny. And now Asante can bring it forward. He's got Denton up with him. Asante goes alone. He's fouled there by Drysdale. Donahue gives the free kick, but that is the end of the highlight. And uh, end to end start to this game, 25 minutes in. There's not been a shot on target yet in this game. That's the first one just there for Cambridge as I'm talking, but we're not seeing too many highlights now either. Kiernan now has a knock. Houlihan with a free kick, and it's off the post and offside anyway. Um, Kiernan is going to have to come off. We're going to stick Rowley on that right-hand side. Yeah, so Rowley's going to play on the right of midfield at the moment. As we come towards half-time, 
it is still no nil. I don't mind that at all. And I'm actually going to make some tactical changes now. Roly can come into the centre of midfield as a box to box midfielder. And we're going to take Buchanan off for Butterfield and have you as a anchor man. I think, yeah, we're going to try and stay secure. Uh, there's obviously two changes made already, which I'm not thrilled about, but honestly, I'd quite like a replay for the money at least. But if we can go and you know, snatch a goal, maybe. Just going to encourage them. Evans and Clark and Denton all tired. And Houlihan over the free kick again. Finds at least his time. And he fires it just wide. Flag stays down as well. 15 minutes to go. Now we are going to go make a change. Rowley can go into that attacking midfield role as a shadow striker. And... The anger on for Denton as a poacher. We're going attacking. Now we're going through with the final 15 minutes. Yarny on the ball. Goes back to the keeper. Watkins looks forward, but it's headed back towards us. Digby to Mullin. Noyle out to Houlihan. Looks over the top for Mullin, who's in behind again. And they do finally find the back of the net. Paul Mullin does score, and our tactical changes haven't even take, it taken place yet. So that's not because we've got more attack in. It was just good play. Quarters out. Mullin to Niall. Houlihan, far too much pace. Obviously, we don't have that left winger now. And it's a good ball over the top for Mullin, who gets in behind and taps home. We're going to keep the tactical changes. We are going to go and encourage them. We're going to go for every attack in. We're going to go see if we can get a goal. We have been dominated in terms of chances. We've had more of the ball, though. So possession-wise, decent. We just haven't had the chance to create enough with it. And that is the end of our FA Cup run there. Um, we didn't create enough, to be fair. I I know I went a bit defensive trying to see it through, but I didn't think we had the quality in the squad. Two weeks out maximum for Kieran and there. A couple of scouting reports coming in as well. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go and play these four games off screen. And we're going to come back for the Notts County game at the start of December. Um, that's the plan for this episode, so I'll be back with you momentarily for that game. So we're back, and we start off the second part of this episode on Lee Angle's profile, who you can see we've signed for 7.5k from Leighton Orient. He was on the transfer list there. I thought he could come in and do a real job. You can see he's a decent player. Um, he's going to be good for us at this level. He's playing in an advanced forward position at the moment for us. Um, He's really added something to the team for me, a different sort of dynamic from what we had going on. You can see he's made four starts, he's scored one goal so far for us. But that wasn't the only incoming. Josh Galloway as well, from Leeds, he cost a lot of money. He was £80,000. 18-year-old, I'm really banking on this guy for the future. He can play out on the wings, he can play up top. I'm actually training him to be a striker at the moment. I think he's got potential there. Um, you can see he came to us with an injury, so he hasn't started yet. I think he could be a real star. And if I look at... It's not that. It's on the transfer clauses. 40% of his next fee goes to them. Part of that 80k was 20k in instalments um, over six months. So we're going to get some money for him. In terms of the games that we've played since Cambridge, we had an absolute cracker. I probably should have done this one as a live com. After that, you know, I wanted to play Notts County. I wanted to play that top of the table game as we just load up the uh, highlights here. Away at Dagenham and Redbridge, this was a thriller. Leon Goal on his first start. Denton brings the ball down into Clark. Angle gets in behind. One touch, smashes it past the keeper. Keeper should have done better to keep it out, but we didn't care at all. 27 minutes in, we were 1 0 up. Went into half time at 1 0. Then into the second half, Brown too easily gets past his man. It's a great crossing for Harrett, who tapped home to level things up at 1 apiece. Brown then dispossessed us. Wasn't great clearance. McCourt smashes it forward. Keeper came out, got nowhere near it, and Denton just gets his head on it, flicks it over the keeper into the back of the net for 2 1. Then a corner comes in. 
Evans heads onto the back post for Maguire to tap in. Rowley, lovely free kick from the edge of the area. Then made it 4-1. Harrett, perhaps a bit too easily past his man. Tackle comes in, and unfortunately it was a good tackle, but he played across the box for Scott Wilson to find a back of the net, 4-2. Maguire then played the ball forward. The anger in behind. Good touch. Great finish across the keeper to make it 5-2. With three minutes left, we were safe at this point. But then a bit of a disappointment. You can see here they pressed us very high. Very high. And what was Watkins doing? What was Watkins doing? I was viewing. <laughs> to be honest with you, fuming with that, even though he won the game, it's just a stupid mistake. We then travelled away to Sutton, you can see a 1-0 was the only result. You can also see a change of formation, and we'll go into that a little bit more once we actually come to the start of the game. McCourt played the ball forward for Angol here, brought it down, played it across for Denton, shot was blocked, Roller gives it to Asante, who lashes it home. Absolutely put his foot through that to give us the win against Sutton. But then the unbeaten run in the league did come to an end at home to Boreham Wood. Corey Whiteley here sort of put us to the sword, really. Two goals for him. Will Evans getting the consolation goal for us and gave us a bit of a chance. We were by far the better team. These are the only two shots on target for Boreham Wood. Walker into the box. Tackle took too long to come in and Whiteley fires across the keeper into that bottom corner with far too much space for my liking there. Then from the penalty spot, keeper goes the right way but can't get it down close enough to it. See, we also had a goal disallowed. It's a long throw in as well. That got us the goal back. Evans had that Ashmore could only parry it out. Evans then tapped home, but we could not find a winner despite dominating that game. But then back to winning ways here against Barnet with a 2 0 victory. You see, James Dunn sent off for them. We lost Danny Preston early on to an injury, but it didn't really stop us. Dunn with. Two yellow cards either side of half time getting sent off. Yarny with the ball into car line gives it back to him. Yarny towards the back post. Sante flicks it on for the anger, who fired home to make it 1 0. We also had a goal disallowed in this game, but we got a second one not long after to seal it for us. Car line into Rowley, who just stroked it home past the goalkeeper to make it 2 0. And what that meant for the league. You can see here, we're currently in second place. One point behind Hartlepool with a game in hand. Notts County are two points behind us. So it's imperative that we get a result against them today. Hartlepool playing Maidenhead. We've got the FA Trophy second round as well. So the FA Trophy will be coming up soon. And yeah, you, you notice the change in formation. We've gone to three up top now to get the most out of the um, attacking players that we've got in. So Watkins... Obviously in goal, Yarny, Evans, Maguire and Taylor at the back. Clark, Rowley, McCourt are now in midfield. We've got an advanced playmaker ball in the midfield there and a box-to-box -box midfielder in there. Then up front we've got Asante as a pressing forward. Then turn as a target man using his big old frame. And then Angol trying to get in behind and create the issues that we know he's created quite often for us. So hopefully he can go and, you know cause issues in this game against Notts County at home against Neil Ardley C uh, team and gives the win. We've got a couple of players complacent which isn't ideal um, but hopefully you know the rest of the team can rally around despite that. I don't like to see complacency. Taylor's throwing was header clear. McCourt is going to get to that. Taylor's in a bit of space if you can find him. He goes to Rowley instead. The referee's wearing a grey kit. He sort of clashes with them. It's kind of annoying. Angol tried to find Denton. It's cleared out. Maguire, though, knocks it back forward. Reynolds looks over the top. Evans into Rowley. Calm as you like, with two players closing him down. Denton holds up, finds Yarny in plenty of space. Custer fullbacks are now on complete wing backs. Now we've got that. Uh, no wide men. This is a long highlight, end-to-end -end highlights. While Denton's going to knock that down for Angol. Takes his time here, and then the change of pace. Gets past Reynolds, and fires home for his second goal for the club since signing. That's a lovely goal, a little cartwheel to celebrate. And that is exactly why Denton's in there as a target man. He wins these balls, he knocks it down to Angol. 
who just teases Reynolds here, just slows it down and then bang, past him in a flash. And it's in a cracking finish past the goalkeeper, rising away from the keeper into that far corner. Keeps stood no chance. And then straight from kickoff, we've got a highlight where Yarny's won the ball back. It was a poor ball out wide. Rolling into Clark now, Denton, Sante, Rowley, Angle's trying to get him behind here. He's found him. Against Reynolds again, shoots and just wide this time. That was almost two goals in a minute. But that's exactly why he bought Angola in. He, he plays a different sort of role. And he's really meshing well with um, Denton up there. I might have to change the Sante's role. So I don't think that's quite working. Cross comes in, Maguire heads clear. Doyle, former Chesterfield player, that is Doyle as well. Reynolds, so you know he's going to score at some point. Reynolds, ball in for Rodriguez, and it's a cracking ball in from Danny Reynolds, and Ruben Rodriguez scores a tap in. That's a lovely cross there. Disappointed we didn't quite close him down quick enough there. Bit too much space for my liking. But it's a lovely one too with Doyle, and it's such a good cross in. Rodriguez on his toes, gets there before the defender, and it's just a tap in for him. Yarny, can he create something? It goes to Clark. He does need some help. We should do with someone here. Yarny just come into that space. Spreads it for Taylor. Bit of space now to fire it across himself, maybe. He's into the area. For Asante, it's blocked. Goes back to Taylor. Rolling now from the edge of the area. We know he's dangerous from there, and it's just wide from him. Very exciting open 20 minutes. Goal kick quickly taken towards Reeves. Maguire gets up there well. Miller. Comes back to Reynolds. He looks forward for Effiong. I think he was offside. Saved. And the flag does go up eventually. Anyway, he was offside. End-to-end -end game at the moment. We have got a free kick here. In a dangerous position. It's Jack McCourt over it. Goes over the wall. And he's found the back of the net. And what a free kick that is from Jack McCourt. What a strike that is. That is an incredible free kick. Over the wall, left keeper, no chance. This is a perfect angle for it. Look at the curl on that. Beautiful free kick from Jack McCourt. And that's the exact goal you need in a derby game like this to fire the team up, fire the fans up. Yarny now with the throw in. Angle flicks it on, but it's cleared out. Yarny now brings it forward. Bit of space for him as well here. Back to Evans. Cross for Denton. Just wide. Decent effort from Denton. To be fair, the cross was stood up. He had to get all the power on it himself. Rodriguez now skips past Evans. Still Rodriguez. And hopefully that wasn't the highlight because that shot was atrocious. That was the highlight. That was just a terrible shot there. Ten minutes ago until half time. We're still 2 1 up. We're dominating this game, but it's only 2 1. Rodriguez now flicks the ball on. Evans steps in. He now looks forward for Angol, who brings it down. He's got space over on this far side for Taylor, which he finds. Taylor marauding forward into the box, shoots himself, and that is well wide from him as well. Yarny now with a long throw in again. Lacey gets his head to it this time, though. The striker peeled off him. Rowley jogging out to the ball, taking his time, goes all the way back to Watkins. Absolutely no danger here, but we know Watkins is prone to an error. Maguire goes back to Watkins again. Evans, back to Watkins. I don't like going back to Watkins that time. But Denton flicks on superbly for Asante. He holds it up. Now finds a good ball for Angol. It's forced out wide. Cross is blocked. And now Miller clears downfield. Rodriguez gets there before Maguire. A little battle between them two. Lays it off for Roberts. Who now brings it forward. Cross in from him. Watkins gets a hand on it, but only to Miller, and it's 2 2. And does that go down as a goalkeeping error? I think it has to. We'll see a little bit better on the replay here. Roberts easily gets past Maguire. It's a decent ball in. I don't think he needs to come for that. I think even if Effion gets his head to it. He'd probably back the keeper from there, but he makes a mistake and ends up giving Miller a tap in. And despite the fact we've dominated this game yet again, we go into half time at two apiece. I'm going to flash some arms time on Farfan, please. It's demotivated Angol, to be fair, probably should have praised him. 
he's had a very good game so far. Encouraged him as we have a corner clock. Plays it in low this time. The Sante heads just over the bar. I'm going to look at his role, actually, if we just pull this up. Let's move him forward as a poacher. See if we can get involved a little bit more. He's on the ball here. Plays it against Kelly Evans. Reeves now looks forward. Rodriguez is dominating us. Effion goes back to Rodriguez. Doyle looks forward and Maguire steps in there. Reeves over the top. Rodriguez in behind. He's got a man support with him. It's saved and the flag goes up in the end anyway. Sante is complacent. Let's... I can't demand more at the moment because I've just obviously encouraged him. What I'm also going to do here, opposition. Um, yeah, we're going to have to tight mark him. And let's go in pretty hard on him. What to suggest with Miller? He's tired, so we'll tightly mark him or tightly mark Reeves as well. A little bit of opposition instructions coming into play there. Half an hour to go. It's still 2-2. Two, two. We are maybe going to have to look at changing things now. Dianga is going to come on for Asante. Um, I think that's what I'm going to do right now. We are playing well. We're not particularly too tired. Clark with a dangerous free kick. We know a danger could be to Evans at the back post and he heads home. And I honestly considered taking Clark off, but knew that his dead ball delivery was so crucial. And again, he finds Evans at the back post. These two are striking up a wonderful partnership from set pieces. Evans ahead of two defenders gets there and heads home to give us the lead this time. Now Yarny with the throw in. Angle heads it back to him. Space to get a crossing. Fires one into Rowley. And now it's 4-2. And now we've turned on the charm. That's a cracking ball in from Yarny. Exactly what I mentioned earlier on. This time, fired in with pace. All Rowley has to do is get that on target. Use the pace of the cross itself. And all the world headed back to him. Nobody near Yarny. And he just drills it across. Rowley, it's a controlled header into that corner of the goal. It's 4-2. We now have a two-goal advantage. As things stand, we are top of the league. Hartlepool is still 0-0 with Maidenhead. Notts County now, though. Dianga steps in, clears downfield. Lacey's going to get there. Dianga's chasing his own ball. He's pressuring Lacey there. Goes back to the keeper, Slocum. Pressure coming on him as well now. Downfield, Phillips challenging. Evans wins the ball. Back forward. Denton knocks it down for Rowley to McCourt. Back into Denton's feet. Angle, he's got a man on the outside if he chooses to use him. He goes to Clark instead. And it was a poor ball, really, to Clark. Rowley into space. Dianga's going to chase that down. He's going to chase everything right now. Taylor to McCourt. Into Dianga. I think he was offside. He was offside. He was a good ball in. It's a good finish to adjust his body, but he just didn't get back on side. You can see here, there was... The left back, that was pretty close to playing him on, but he was just too far ahead. And now Hartlepool are losing as well there. So, the 2 nil down now, that gives us a two-point advantage over them. Rowley with the corner to Evans, gets his head on, it's just over the bar. And that is going to be Evans' last bit of action here. He's going to come off for Hollis. And we will take Yarny off for Carline. Played very, very well today, both of them. Slocum with the goal kick. Carline can't win the ball. And that's not a great first impression into this game. Kalala crosses to Roberts. Straight at Watkins. Who claims that one. Keeps hold of it. Four additional minutes to go. We have a two goal advantage. We should be relatively comfortable here. And time has ticked out. And that is a massive win for us. Not just in terms of the league. But to beat local rivals as well in this league. And potential title rivals as things go on. That's going to set us up massively for the rest of the season. It was a great performance. Disappointed with a couple of goals that we conceded. First one was a wonderful cross that I can't blame. The plays too much on that one. It was a stunning ball in. But that was a great performance for us. In terms of where we come back next. I think we come back somewhere in January for the January transfer window. Maybe made in the head and Stockport at the end. 
Um, of course, we don't actually have a transfer window in the National League. If we just click on here, 9th of June to the 29th of March, we can make signs up until the end of March anyway. But I think if we come back towards the end, Maidenhead, Stockport, mid table ish, we'll see what's going off around there but we'll come back towards the end of january if you haven't enjoyed this please do hit that like button subscribe if you are brand new here if you do know any friends that would be interested in the football manager series any chesterfield fans maybe if not it doesn't matter anyway get them all in here come and get them subscribed come and get them to watch like comment down below anything just let me know if you are enjoying this series until next time stay safe and i'll see you in the next one peace